Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if it's the first time here, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. There's some awesome video here, awesome content. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. So today we're gonna set up um, senseless homing in Clipper. So this is for those who already kind of install Clipper and want to be able to use senseless homing or in the future enable senseless homing and not sure how to go about it. Um, this video is for you. So without no further ado, let's get into it. So um, first thing you need to do is uh, make sure you get um, a make sure you have a driver. Um, that supports sensorless homing. In this case, the Big Tree Tech 2209's V1.2 works really, really good um, with sensorless homing. I've been using it for a minute now. Um, and yeah, they're very, very good drivers. Um, you can buy one or two or three or the whole kit. Um, so yeah, if you want that, go ahead. I recommend Big Tree Tech drivers. Now, I'm not saying no other drivers out there. Um, uh, support it. There's different packaging of the 2209. So whichever supports it, you can use it. But in this case, the Big Tree Tech driver works really well for me. So I'm recommending that to you guys. All right. So um, I'm assuming that you have a 2209. So let's move on to the rest of the process. So you want to visit the clipper.org slash tsmc underscore driver drivers that html so this is where you come and set up sensorless homing so to, i'm not gonna go through the whole thing but i'll just kind of like uh, abbreviate what it's essentially saying you can read this on your own time to understand more um but essentially is you want to be able to enable stealth chop mode okay so um the reason for this is that um stealth chop um is a quiet mode for uh uh, for your driver so it's like it basically make the drivers uh run the motor very quietly um and less torque in the operation but in my opinion i wouldn't do that i run i will run your drivers in spread cycle mode spread cycle allows for on-demand torque of your stepper driver it's better it also uh prevent layer shifts from happening um, so a lot of people who run into layer shifts is because if you're running the 2209s or new stepper driver, new aboards, and you're having layer shift issues, it's probably because you have stealth chop on and you're not getting the full torque on your motors. Okay, so it doesn't matter how much you set the voltage, um, uh, stealth chop basically doesn't feed enough, um, doesn't allow your motor to get to the point where it's using torque, okay? It kind of keeps it quiet as possible. And so, you definitely, in this case, I would definitely recommend that you enable um, spread cycle mode. It's better, um, you won't have any skip steps. Um, you can run your motor as fast as you wanna run it and basically give your motor more torque. So, but yeah, so I will set this here where it says stealth chop. If you look in the driver, set that to one. So to show you where that is, if you come down here, um, in this case, I have set to this omen on my X. So if you come under where it says TSS, uh, TSMC 2209 configuration, you, this is your driver, okay? This is your driver. Um, you're gonna want to set the, uh, the stealth chop here, the threshold, set that to one. It's usually at 99.9, but that's the, that, that enables uh, stealth chop. But in this case, we are sending it to one, so it's always in spread cycle mode. And I've set that for all my drivers. I don't want any lack of torque. I want, because I print fast, I need my drivers uh, and my motors to perform. So I will set this to one. And then the next thing you may need 
is if you come further down, you're going to need to set the diag pin. Um, in this case, um, the diag pin is here, the diag pin. So if you want, guys want to copy that for those who have a SKR 1.4, 1.4 turbo, the pin is the same. So this is the diag pin. If you don't set this diag pin, it won't work. So you might need to look at the board that you're using. If you want to set up sensorless homing, just make sure you set the diag pin and it needs to be in the uh, underneath the driver category here. Um, once you have that set up, you need to um, set this as well. So this is your own retraction distance. Um, basically, it you can set how far you want your your um, your access to retract when it homes. Um, in this case, you do not want that when you're running sensorless homing. It will give you a lot of errors. So I recommend to put this in your config, but you're going to set it to zero. You do not want it to retract once you home. Okay. Um, so you're gonna copy that and that goes here. If you go to your actual driver at the top here, so you're gonna go to your X stepper configuration and it goes right here. So as you can see, I have it set to zero um, like it's supposed to be. You're also gonna need to remove the position min because in this case you're not going to need it since you're running a virtual end stop so you don't need it in this case unless you had a switch but so you get rid of the position min you can leave position max um and then you um you have to set the the virtual end stop uh, signal in here so it's tsm 2209 underscore stepper you gotta copy this put it here um, in front of the end stop pin and that should also signal that you're running a virtual and stop in a way okay um and so we need one more thing thing in this case we have to put we come down here a little further my scroll wheel on my mouse is not working I need a new mouse um, see if we can find it further down I might have passed it though essentially you need this there we go so you're gonna need to add this to your uh, configuration and this goes here so you go back down to where you, your stepper driver settings are it goes right here underneath the diag pin so this is the the sensitivity okay so the sensitivity range from 64 to 255 um, the lower means less sensitive the higher is more sensitive you want to find a balance because if you go to less sensitive it was kind of hit a little hard in the um, side of the gantry um, for it to detect the stall of the motor. Um, 100, 100 seemed to work like really good for me. It's a balance, it doesn't hit as hard. It just give it a little tap and then it stops. Okay, so you need to find, uh, depending on the printer you're gonna set this up on, you need to find that balance um, of where to set that number. Um, of course, it's gonna be a different number for every other printer. Uh, but in this case, if you want to start off at 100, see how that works, you can do that. And so once you have your, your driver SGTHRS set, your diag pin set, and you come up here, of course, your stealth chop set to one, um, which I recommend. And then you come at back at the top here. I'm sorry, my mouse is just horrible. Um, Make sure you set your end stop pin. It's a virtual. Make sure you signal that. Remove the position min. Remove that from there. Once that's all set, okay, and you put your home and retract distance to zero, once that five perimeters are set, you're good to go for sensorless homing. That's all you need to set, okay? So we're gonna go over it again just so you guys are not confused. So the first thing we need to add to your driver section is you need to add a diag pin, so the diag pin for the driver. You need to add the driver uh, S S G T H R S. That's the sensitivity. You need to set your your stealth chop threshold to one, so that way you're running in spread cycle. Then you go back up at the top. And then you remove the there. There will be a position min. You remove that. Um, for the end stop, you set the, the TSMC 2209 stepper underscore virtual end stop. And then you also add the omen retract distance and set that to zero. 
Once those all are set, you should be able to hold properly fine. Now the only difference now is that you gotta mess with is the, the sensitivity, right? That's the only thing you gotta mess with. And the sensitivity, again, is right down here, back at the driver. So that's your sensitivity here, and that's the only thing you gotta mess with to determine how hard or how, how slow you want it to hit in the side of your gantry. So to demonstrate that, since mine is working, I'm gonna save and close and go ahead and do a full auto home so you guys can see it at, up here. So I'm gonna home all. And that was it. It works perfectly fine, it works every single time. It's very repeatable, I can do it again. I'll just own X by itself so that way you can hear it. I'm not sure if you guys can pick it up, but. That's it, it's just a little thump and that was it. Very, very, very easy um, to not slam it <laughs> into the side of my um, gantry. But that was it guys, that's all it takes to set up senseless homing. You can do that for Y. Um, as well, if you wanted to set up sensorless homing for Y, you would just repeat the same steps as you would do for X, um, and make sure you have the uh, driver um, with a dire pin in, in Y as well. So that's it, guys. Um, very easy. Um, if you guys like this little uh, little mini series, I want to start. Um, let me know in the comment. Um, so again, like, subscribe, share, guys. Um, this is a growing channel. And uh, I really like this. I like really like what I do. I really do enjoy helping other folks out there. So please, yeah, like and share, subscribe, drop a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.